What's up, people? It's your boy, Silver Ranch here, and I wanted to react to this song because, well, I've listened to the whole album, and, oh my god, if you haven't checked out Anatomy 2 by Ham, uh, this this album is insane. It's not my all-time favorite, but shit, is there a bad song on this album? Hell no. And I think there's like 13 songs on this, which makes it crazy. Weird he chose, I'll admit, for this song. I'm curious to see what he does with this. But I want to stop right now. This is produced by Odwin. Shout out Odwin. He does some really good production all around. So I want to jump right into this. This is all admit by Ham Sandwich. They know it takes two, but I'm not really gonna catch a. I'm not gonna really call out a lot of lines. I really want to see what he does with like the video, because I know how it mixed, how it sounds. It sounds gorgeous, and he says some. This is like a really deep song, so that's all I'm gonna say. But they never want to tangle with him Get wrapped up and shipped out You try to tangle with him Cause it's Bermuda to any nigga triangle in him Left like Bermuda for anyone triangle in him Like, okay Him so holy you'd think he had an angel with him And he'd better had an angel with him Or for the rest of time he get an angel visions face down Floating fresh water with a I'm curious what he Is this an iris blur? It feels like an iris blur because he has the little, he has the edges really blurry, almost like looking out of like an eye's lens through this video. It's like an eyeball lens, kind of. Hey, if you, if you see this video, please tell me how you did this because it looks nice so far. Angel fishes, so many bars in my notepad, it's a paper prison. I see them writing about metal they never held, that's paper clipping. I write about shit I'd never tell to anybody, cause you don't know me and trust me. I done saw a lot of shit when we was going through the times, we ain't had any money. There's truth in every line, but I Oh, that's so sick. Is this like footage from your camera roll, or is it like stuff you posted? Like, probably obviously not to YouTube, but like to like Twitter or something. Oh, it's just gonna be like, if y'all remember, I don't remember, I don't think I reacted to it. I don't remember if I did. It was Triple Threat by DPS. And he got like a bunch of photos. Like obviously this is a little, this is a smaller scaled down version where it's just him. And it's like his memories. But if y'all remember DPS, he did something with Triple Threat where he got a bunch of people's photos and put it together and did like something with Zoro. And I, it was the coolest thing I ever seen. I was like, wow. That's impressive. But this is a cool idea. I done saw a lot of shit when we was going through the times we ain't had any money. There's truth in every line, but I'll admit it varies. See, I usually dial it back if shit is getting scary. I was reciting lines the other day into a mirror. Had to call a priest, I fucked around and summoned Bloody Mary. There's truth in every line, but I'll admit it varies. Cause I gotta add some humor to the shit that I carry. And I gotta plant a new flower for everything that I bury. And I gotta stay looking sharp for the- That's a good line right there. Plant every flower for- Oh wait, say again. That I carry. And I gotta plant a new flower for everything that I- Plant a new flower for everything that I bury. Which is a deep line right there. The one thing I want to say this because it's just it's always tough when you do a video like this he I feel like he's kind of getting screwed by the outdoor lighting here he's getting like a weird I feel like it's like a weird glare up here and it doesn't reflect well like on the field and on him but the video is nice overall Barry, and I gotta stay looking sharp for the woman I'll marry But lately I've been so focused on the grind that my teeth hurt And I can feel the pain every time I spit each verse, each word Reaching out to the bleachers cause my knees hurt But I still got enough left in me to get to each serve Sitting eastward, 5am watching the sunrise Hoping one day that I can look into my son's eyes and tell him it was worth it All the sleepless nights writing verses All the demon fights and the curses First thing I'ma do is buy my mama a Birkin To make up for all the money I took out of her purses And get my dad a new space to work in because my parents have put well over a century of work in and see no return but that's the risk you take and they adopted me knowing full well it's a shitty shake see most black orphans never see the light of day they just kind of fade into the concrete of the cityscape that's a bold thing as well to talk about something just deep as that like listen to those lines again black orphans never see the light of day they and they adopted me knowing full well it's a shitty shake he wants to get back to his family who sacrificed so much to adopt him and just raise him like 
damn, like this song has so much just depth to it. See, most black orphans never see the light of day. They just kind of fade into the concrete of the cityscape. How many black babies been aborted because their parents can afford it? It's an epidemic. I'm not finna lie. I got survivor's guilt. Because their parents can afford it, it's an epidemic. I'm not finna lie, I got survivor's guilt. I find the will to move on, feeling pressure to be a success story so the lives of the next generation can be less gory. I'm trying to build something I can leave behind and keep them out of the field. Conviction lay between each rhyme. The haters don't get my appeal, but I know they see me climb and my people see me feel and they want to see me shine. And I think it's about time we start moving from porches to porcelain. Pockets full of corpses getting corpulent. Trying to live to see the metamorphosis of this career ignite the fire and I'm torching it. One hand on the wheel, not flooring it. With a bad bitch and passenger built like Lilith and Morgan at the same time. See She's sorta of thick but also sorta of thin Taking dubs where all these niggas only sorta of win I look down the field and know I'm sure to win I wanna suggest this I wanna just like throw this out here I think a lot of people are gonna like I think just talk about the music aspect of it I wanna talk a little more about the video aspect of this I think this is a cool idea And here's the other thing I'm gonna say A lot of this looks like a shot from a phone Like all of his memories Which I think would make sense obviously Most people aren't just gonna be carrying around a GoPro and stuff like that Or just a camera <laughs> So the one thing I wanted to just like throw out there, why I guess I guess here's my it's just a it's just a personal question because I don't think it makes the video better or worse. Why the choice of putting the videos like through like around you and not like kind of morph it into the video in a way, like like kind of pan back once or tw like a few times while you're rapping with these videos that just like show the weight of like your grinding your heart your soul your effort that all of that and all the good memories as well that's been split with all the hard work all good and all good bad and anything else that you show on here i don't think it lessens the video doing it like this it's just it's an interesting design choice so i am i was just curious Win. Money flowing like water, how it's pouring in But I seen mad niggas parched for the parchment paper Chasing and draining energy till there's nothing more to give I seen too many ghost towns like Oregon It's like these niggas wanna see you on the floor again They sued us, sent us all back to hunting and foraging Then let a single crab out the bucket so I'm ignoring him There's truth in every line but I'll admit it varies So I don't sweat the details long as the message carries Yeah Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, talk, talk to him. Talk to him. Yo, what yo, we talking boy, about? True evil villain here with my boy Ham Sandwich. Yes, sir. Nerd core behind the door. What the fuck we talking about? Yes, sir. I ain't here. You fucking missing out. Talk Hope to him. Stricken bitches. Put your fucking talk mask on. Talk to him. Woo! Dash pass for no. Students gives you DoorDash with zero dollar delivery fees for just four ninety nine a month. I love that. I love that ending. I love that ending so much. That he did with showing a clip. I think it was him, true evil villain. I see Cam in there. I think Breton's in the background. And like a few others. Like, that's such a school. That's such a. I said school. Cool idea. And I love. The one thing I really did like about the video was that towards the end, he started. Like, this is what at one time I think that actually worked out perfectly. Because as he's getting closer to the end of the rap, each moment just, like, like pops out one by one by one. Like, all the moments in the past, but now they're gone. And now, and it's just him continuing to do what he loves. And maybe I'm just thinking too far into it. It's like, this is the, this is the media aspect of me going, like, deep into, like, understanding the video aspect of it because the music aspect is gorgeous his you saw so many lines it was so deep and how much like you talk like you hear about you hear about the grind the struggle how much like i said how much his parents sacrificed how much how many sleepless nights he's had just to be able to do this it is like inspiring and it's so it, it you hear it you hear it there and it's almost in a way like an old chance in a way it feels like an old chance or like a J. Cole. It just feels like something that's got a lot of conviction. 
But as a whole, I enjoyed this so much. And I have to go listen to his new song. He just dropped something like five hours ago. So, with like a bunch of other things. So if you haven't listened to this song, please go check it out. And better yet, go check out all of Anatomy 2 from Ham Sandwich. I, I'm going to say that again. Anatomy 2 fr from Ham Sandwich. I promise you. Or even if you type Ham Sandwich, it'll be the first thing that pops up. Or one of the first things that pops up. Especially if you just scroll and find albums. Like check this song, check this video out because you n this is gonna get lost over like from the rest of his fan base. <clears throat> I looked at the viewership of this and I looked at the viewership quickly of the new video he dropped, which is based off of I think it's something on Netflix. It's like the Cyberpunk show. It's, I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix. And I already saw the views are radically different. This has been out for a week, so please go give this a listen. The song is so good. And I think it's a it's a fun idea, and like I said, when he dropped "We Go Me Okay," I hope he does more. I hope he does like some stuff with the real life aspect as well, because I think it makes it adds just more levels of fun to it. You know, it's being able to make new videos that you enjoy. Like, yeah, it's awesome making cool AMVs and stuff like that. But when you're not, like, part of the fun is like this: you're just going out to like a field or like the river or like a street in the city. And you're just making music, and you're laughing with your friends. Like, stuff like that, I think, is so cool. But anyways, if you haven't checked this out, please check it out. And if you enjoyed my video, please leave support by liking, commenting for more, and subscribing to become a part of the, uh, the Ranch Nation while turning on that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on another Ranch reaction, gaming, or commentary video or anything else that I drop. But with that out of the way, I'm going to get out of here for tonight. And, the ranch, and from the Ranch Nation, I love every single one of you, and I am out of here. Peace.